Hello and how are you? My name is Mohino Mbark and I welcome you to our 19th lecture of creating a complete uh, e-commerce, sorry, inventory management system. We always do 40 minutes and I'll start our timer. In a previous lecture, we stopped at the logic of creating, a, 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 I mean uploading an image and then we learned a very powerful technique of how to do what, of how to upload uh, images. So. In this lecture, we're going to proceed from there and we see what we can do with the API. Remember, we're creating the API. So I hope in the previous lecture, we were able to do the whole logic of uploading the image. If you were not able, please pause the videos and rewatch very carefully in order for you to understand everything that we've been uh, uh, elaborating. So without wasting any minute, let's go straight into our today's business. So you know we are following our menu. And uh, we finish the, the what the store category, and uh, I think we should just uh, proceed to company profile editing, and then after doing that, we proceed to what to stock item, stock items, and then stock records, and then uh, that will be all. All right, so let's go ahead and do the company profiling editing. So I've finished all these from bottom up to here. Let's go ahead and do this one, okay? So let's do the company profile editing. So this one is just most of it will be just for editing, not creating because we create the company only one time. So it will be like editing only. Maybe the listing. I don't think we need <laughs> Do we need the listing? I don't think we do. All right. So let's go ahead uh let me first test something small here yeah we don't <laughs> you cannot list it of course all right uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get started uh let's add the company editing logic uh let's try to test the company editing logic so just simply uh i think that will definitely be there because you don't need it for now <laughs> that one will definitely be there only we need my profile okay my profile because you will need to get your profile uh, updates okay all right let's we'll let we'll do that one at very last point okay let's first proceed to the stock items and then stock categories to make sure that they are working properly and then uh, we see if we can publish our project today online so stock items so i'll just simply come here and duplicate uh this stock subcategory because it has almost everything so i'll just come and duplicate this one and then come here and rename this one to uh stock items okay so stock items and then here the create of stock items I'll come and get stock item controller which is uh, this one okay I'm getting stock item controller I'll come and uh, paste it here okay pasting it there uh, let's go ahead and get the form fields so I'll come here I can remove all these no problem we can create new ones let's remove everything here okay in the body let's go ahead and get the stock item uh, fields so I'll come here to our what to our, um, our tables okay stock item here let's get the form field so I'll just come and copy these form fields here on top here like this after copying them control C I'll come and paste them here okay and then do control S so it can format them for me so I'm going to remove one by one the one that I don't need it I don't need so let's go ahead and remove text i don't need this one id i don't need it query that i don't need it updated that i don't need it company id i need it so I can put here uh company id i hope i got it right let's see company id it has been substituted there uh, let me go back to bulk uh created by i think that is one's also okay so i can just put here uh, user underscore id i hope that's a variable so i hope we have it let's see 
yes we have it uh -huh. let's proceed uh subcategory so let's see subcategory for uh subcategory 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 for id number seven for example this five so i can put five okay so this is category id so subcategory i don't think that you need category id because this one is being uh worked upon in the what in the in the mode itself i hope i hope so let's go ahead and check so let's talk item i think yeah on creating uh on creating 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 we don't send the sub the category id sock item really okay let's go ahead and send it no problem so if we have subcategory as five we can get its category id which is uh category id it's a category five the category is four so I can put here four. All right. Uh, financial period. This one should be generated. It should be collected from the. I hope. Oh, is it being? Yeah, it is being added here on the prepare. I think yeah. And we call this prepare on creating. So it is being added the financial, uh, whatever. So this one you can get rid of it because it will be added by the, the system. So I can say maybe test. Can put the test to hell. It's going on. Okay, test stock item description. Maybe some. Oh my god, this thing is <laughs> loading slowly. <laughs> right. Postman is having some issues. Some details. All right. Uh, then image. So this image, you're going to do the same logic. So I can just remove this. Cut this. Image. So let me just come here and say this is where we are, right? So photo. Huh? Yeah, this is where we are. Okay. So our photo which is file and then we can get here some file that is going to be uploaded for demonstration purposes okay and then remember to put our temporary file name okay how did we call it you can get from here temp file field so i'll just come and add it here temp file field so the image should be saved in the image field eh? all right let's go back okay barcode let me just put here some barcode hey this postman is delaying i don't know what is causing that What is going on? Sorry about that. Postman is kind of delaying. I don't know if I should restart Postman. I don't know if it will not delete my things. All right. Okay, so it's back. So, backward. Backward, backward. Let me put just some random. My God. I just put some random fields. I don't know why Postman is doing this. It's, that's so bad. Okay. So SKU. Let me just put the SKU here. All right. Generated. Generate SKU. You can put manual. Why is that? Is it because of the file upload? Oh. Mm. 
okay so sku aha uh -huh, gallery that will be for the photos let me remove this one buying price uh, 10,000 selling price 12,000 mm -hmm. oh 8,000 um, original quantity 10 I can say maybe 15 current quantity it will be generated so I can remove it uh -huh, photo and then the temporary field name I think that's all we need okay let's go ahead and submit oh sorry yeah that's okay so credit successfully and you can see the photo has come properly okay so that is beautiful all right that is it that is it so to edit we just let me delete this guy and they just duplicate this create and then change this one to what to edit sorry change this title to edit let me submit so it has created successfully i just get its id it's number four so to change this one to, uh, I to, to edit i just simply add id that's all id number four so you can see here uh created successfully when i just add the id number four it is just going to do the logic updated successfully that is so beautiful and then the list of course you just simply add their stock item don't you see how that is so powerful and beautiful and nice imagine we repeated ourselves to we would have repeated ourselves to do all this logic and the listing is working very perfectly that is so beautiful let's proceed so make sure that you're able to achieve that as well uh we proceed to what we proceed to stock records stock records so stock records stock records yep of course let's do this so we're going to begin by duplicating this one duplicate and then come and rename this one and then call it stock record so after doing that uh, let's go ahead and get the stock record table i mean model okay so stock record model that is it then i'll come and do what and come and put it here stock record model okay okay so create uh we go ahead and get the fields of stock record stock record model which is here just go ahead and copy all the what all the fields then come here to create and then click on uh, on what on bulk edit just select all and then paste these new ones let's remove unnecessary things uh -huh. so id we don't need it created that you don't need a pleasure don't need it company id so you just press ctrl s in order it should organize them for you in order for them to organize company id open data put data like that stock item stock item so let's get this last stock item that is being given out stock item number four okay so I can put there stock item four okay stock category this will be generated uh stock subcategory will be generated from the created of creating uh -huh. created by let's send user underscore id sku that will be generated name to be generated 
measurement unit will be generated description uh, here maybe some testing the record type let's see the type that we have here stock record controller so I come here to type da, 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 da. so I can put here cell for example record cell quantity maybe I can say two selling price I think selling price is generated, right? Yeah. Total sales this is also generated. Profit generated. Financial generated. I think that's all. Let's try to create success. It has been created successfully. All right. Let's go ahead and do what? Let's go ahead. <laughs> Though I'm seeing here. Profit is negative. I don't know how that was calculated. Okay, because the selling price is less than the buying price. Yeah, that is okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the edit. Do we even need to do the edit of the stock record? I don't think we need to. So you can just duplicate this, create. This is this was an ID of six. So just duplicate this guy. And then call this edit and then I just simply come to body and add the ID of for example let me remove this photo where is this photo coming from just add the ID of 6 send updated successfully that is beautiful and then we come to listing go there the list okay then it has listed successfully all right that is so nice okay that's all i think that's all so we have finished uh everything here i finished everything here okay okay so now lastly yeah we're going to put now the manifest okay where we can send now the Person who is logged in, last information, we can send the roles of person and also where we can send now the company profile, something like that. All right, so I'm going to do that. Let's do that. Um, you're going to call it manifest or maybe me or maybe company information or maybe information, something like that. So we shall keep on fetching that information to update. A logged in user they, with general information may i always call it manifest <laughs> so you can call it anything that you want okay so i'll add it maybe here in the um, in the what in the authentication so i just simply come here i just okay let's duplicate this finance duplicate this finance Okay, and then I just drag and drop this one here. All right. So I come and rename this one to maybe manifest. So this will be sending like everything that is about someone who is logged in. So I remove it under API. Maybe I can say it's me, something like that. So it struck me it should be able to send you your information. Okay. So I will come here to let me just call say maybe stroke manifest. <laughs> just I'm just showing you that you can do anything that you want. Okay, manifest like this. So let's go ahead and create the AP in the API. We go ahead and add this thing called manifest. It's going to be a gate. Manifest like this okay so come here and duplicate this guy okay so just come put this one call it manifest so it will not expect anything i just put it on the one thing there so you can see copilot is trying to 
give me a manifest hint all right just this is a method okay forget about copilot so i get the person is logged in after getting the person is logged in i go ahead i go ahead and get something called data okay so this data we can put <laughs> copilot is crazy all right all right yeah so okay so this is the manifest that we're going to be sending back to someone all right so name of the project inventor track okay so maybe the short name ims okay so this version maybe we need just only need to show okay name of the project inventor track system So that's the name of the project, uh, short name, IT, description, inventory management system, version 1.00. So this one, we can even send the version. Okay, author, uh, M, M, Mahindo. So you can put there your name, don't put mine, because you may like to copy and end up copy everything. <laughs> okay, so let's get the person is logged in. So I can say user who is logged in, we get this user. Let's get here also roles. Okay. Roles of this user equals to uh, yeah, something like that. Admin roles. Is it how you get roles? I don't know. <laughs> I hope that's the table. <laughs> I hope that's the table. And I hope those are the roles. I hope if you still remember. So I also put there his roles. Okay. What else do we need? Uh, maybe his company information of someone who is logged in, logged in company information. So this will even be able to send the reorder level, such kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you can go ahead and maybe say uh, out of stock items. So you can get uh things that are out of stock for this company so here where in stock is no i can just simply use uh stock subcategory stock subcategory where company id is that okay where company id is that and in stock is no okay and also maybe you can put also status okay you can get only the active one status active and you get those items so this manifest can be really heavy if you're not careful or at least just send those ones i think that is okay or maybe you can add some summary in future let's just send this for now okay so in this manifest we are just literally getting the users roles the company information and also maybe the person who is logged in and then we wrap them in this kind of data and then we, we boom send back that information so it's the, the thing that we'll be checking if someone is is uh, logged in eh? And then you keep checking if if the roles of someone has been elevated, if the app version, if there's a new version, something like that. Okay. So how do you get this? It is stroke me. Stroke me. Where is it? Stroke manifest. And then we are able to send back. We get the user who is logged in and then send this kind of information. So let's go ahead and try it. You see, it is successful. It is successful. You see, it is sending back like very important information. So the currency and the what we shall be using these ones. Okay. So I think that's it. I think that's it uh, for the API. So that is how we create an API. Let me see the time. We are remaining 15 minutes. 
So I'm going to use this 15 minutes to teach you how you upload your project on how you deploy your project. I'm going to teach you how you deploy your project. So get ready. Get ready. All right. So make sure that you don't give up. Just make sure that uh, the challenges that you're facing, you facing, you face them like a like a man or like a woman, whoever I believe in that is stronger. Face them like a stronger person, okay? And make sure that you don't give up because all these things are really possible. And when you make like five projects of this kind, you'll end up finding yourself understanding things. And when you make like 10 projects, when you make 20 projects, 20 projects of this kind, you'll find that things are now connecting. So you may not get everything in the first project, but when you keep on making the project, let's say that you do 10 different challenges of this kind of projects, you'll end up becoming what? Uh, powerful. Just give you a challenge and do 20 of them and tell me what will be the result. It can take you one year, it can take you two years, but you'll definitely be better than someone who did not try to face these kind of challenges and watch these boring tutorials all that kind of stuff but after 20 years i mean sorry <laughs> after like two years you will be able to start facing different kind of projects and at the end of the at the end of the day you will be that kind of a person that they can put in a room with no internet with no anything and you're able to create something with your own fingers from zero that something that was not existing and that's the only way you can equip yourself and make yourself really really valuable where you'll be needed to make these kind of solutions so don't give up so that's it for our api so you can see that's my api so make sure that you save so even if you log out even if you have your team members you can be able to log into your, to your postman and then you'll be able to get everything that you've been using uh, that you've been implementing so let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and update my uh, my my project. So uh, completed. So I can put my on my GitHub and say completed. So I push on GitHub. Okay. So in the next lecture, uh, I think we're going to use the last fifteen minutes now to learn how to deploy this project. How do you put the project on Cipano? How do you make our project public? So I hope you're ready to do this with me. Let's do this okay so let's do the very last session and we learn so that if we finish uh deploying our project on internet now the next lecture will be now maybe the lecture of tomorrow will be now how to start creating the mobile application with the api that we have just created all right i'll go ahead and stop the video and then start